Okay, let's go for our next uh, presenter, which is 3B4. Uh, oh, Mobile Application for Banana Ripeness Evaluation by Dr. Kuryati Kipli from the Faculty of Engineering, Uni University of Malaysia, Sarawak, Unimas. Uh, Dr. Kuryati is here. So you're ready. So as you know, you have 12 minutes plus three, and then we have Q and A. All right, please, uh, the floor is yours. Hi, thank you. <clears throat> so I will share uh, my slide. So um, actually, a uh, video has been prepared for uh, this um, uh, conference, actually. So I will uh, share the video. But first, uh, let me... Uh, tell you uh, the topic uh, that we will share today is on the mobile application for banana ripeness evaluation. Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon to all the audience. Today I'm going to share uh, my research on um, mobile application for banana ripeness evaluation and this app is called BREEZE which stands for Banana Ripeness Evaluation Expert System. So before um, I begin my presentation, I would like to say thank you to the uh, committee, the secretariat for inviting me to this um, conference um, as an invited speaker. So a little bit about myself. My name is Dr. Kuryati Kipli from Faculty of Engineering, University Malaysia, Sarawak, Unimas. Um, I've obtained my PhD in engineering from Deakin University, my Master of Science in Electronics and Computer Engineering from University of Birmingham, UK, Bachelor of Engineering with honours from Electronic on Electronic uh, and Computer Engineering, University of Malaysia, Sarawak. My research area is pattern recognition, biomedical image processing and signal processing, machine learning algorithms and feature selection. So the outline of my presentation, I will start with objective, then introduction, uh, a little bit of uh, research background, methodology, result in discussion and conclusions. I will also add um, one slide on the other research um, that probably related, uh, that is related to this one and maybe uh, of interest to others. So the objective of uh, this study is to develop a classification model for evaluation of banana fruit ripeness, develop a mobile application as an expert system tool to for evaluation of banana fruit ripeness, uh, meaning that from the classification model, we move to mobile apps and inside the mobile app where we act embed a classification model as an expert system tool. And we would like to utilize cloud platform, uh, which is Google platform, Google cloud platform for the mobile application image process. Banana is the fourth most consumed produce in Malaysia with per capita consumption of 9.5 kg per year. Consumption of Banana surpasses over fruits such as watermelon, rambutan, and mango. So banana is chosen to be evaluated due to its, its huge availability in the market and a high demand among the consumers. So evaluating local species of banana using image processing technique while providing services through mobile platform is the novelty of this project. So the significance of the project is development of multi-platform mobile application for consumer to accurately evaluate banana ripeness and determine its maturity level. Uh, 
we provide high available service to users that suffer uh, from color blindness, uh, meaning that this uh, mobile app is useful for those who have problem with color blind. Um, if you can see from the example, this is original. This is when people with color blind, how they see it, it, it is looks like uh, ripeness fruit. Uh, if because they have problem to determine the ripeness of fruit primarily through color distinguishing. So a little bit of project background uh, of previous research. Mainly the maturity of ripeness evaluation banana had been implemented through GUI graphical user interface in the um, like desktop. Uh, desktop mainly okay and more among the attribute used to build classification model uh, color mapping, color conversion, and color mean intensity. The color mapping uh, is to convert color into specified range of 3D RGB space into continuous 1D color space. And then for color conversion, um, it detects artificially ripe banana by converting the original image into cayenne, magenta, yellow, and black, which is CYMK format. And uh, in study by Prava, they use mean intensity value. Okay. And for the classifier, uh, previous work have used SVM and discriminant analysis. SVM is one of machine learning. And the accuracy of 10 using SVM radio basis is 96.5%. And they use the lab uh, for the recognition uh, or image processing part. Uh, for the discriminant analysis, they obtain 98%. Uh, they divided into seven stages of rightness. Okay, all of these have been um, just um, on paper. Uh, there is no uh, mobile application built with it. So our work, we utilize the color dominance, uh, which is automatically computed using the Google Cloud Vision uh, apps and we also add in rule based classification for the classifier. Then we embed the build classifier into the developed mobile apps. So the project methodology is divided into two parts, which is developing the classification model and then developing the mobile application. Okay, this is the project methodology. It begins with the image acquisition and uh, final with classification. So there's a total of 30 images, actually the original images, which consist from different uh, trend samples from different classes, which is unripe, ripe, and overripe. So in order to uh, increase um, the data set, what we do is we perform image distortion, distortion for the 30 sample images uh, using the MATLAB. Uh, we perform uh, image um, augmentation uh, such as we're adding uh, different noise and blurring motion, uh, which is normally that occur if you take uh, your image uh, using uh, phone. Feature extraction process of extracting color dominion is done using the Google Cloud Vision. Okay, this part, the feature extraction. And then um, we obtain the classification rule the uh, using the Weka tools. Okay. Then the classification mode process is applied to the image attribute data set, which is the color dominant extracted from the image. Then the rule obtained is the key component okay, for the engine evaluation in the mobile application. So this we embed in the mobile application, the rules, and the construction used in the rule-based class use data-based approach with supervised learning. Then all the data set are labeled initially. The main reason to choose rule-based classification is due to it easier integration into our mobile application. It doesn't uh, need uh, much space and then less complexity because we are dealing with just uh, three uh, classes and um, the image itself for banana, the difficulty level is, is not too complex. Okay. All right. 
Next uh, is the mobile application development. So this is the process flow of the mobile application uh, development. Um, we design it using the Ionic framework, which enable uh, operation in Android and compatible right, in Android and iOS device. Okay. Uh, the process is we start with initialization of application interface. User can take photo, upload to the Google Vision, compare result with application color evaluation better best, compute the shelf life and on fruitness level, and then output the result. This is the interface, uh, user interface of the um, mobile application. Next, um, the mobile application entirely utilize cloud services to perform image processing and then evaluate image taken by user. That is why we um, just now use the Google Color Vision because we want uh, the image processing process will be less complex because we can just utilize uh, those uh, tools that are available in the Google Cloud. So this ensures fast result even with low specification mobile devices since the processing load is taken by the cloud services. Okay, this uh, figure here illustrate the Breeze app system architecture flow. Okay, for the result and discussion, um, the image distortion that we perform, which is actually image augmentation as well, we can say, is to increase the number of samples so that when we do perform the classification rule, it is more robust. Okay, if you can see here, when we start with 30 sample only, our result is 87% uh, with three rule generated. Then we... Um, increase our data set to 338 and then the result that we get is 96%. Okay, sample image is computed and analyzed using Weka tool and we also actually compare our result with a few other uh, rule-based classifier. So the sample training, uh, as I mentioned, we expand from 30 to 338 in order to get a more robust uh, classifier. Okay, as a result, uh, a Breeze app, Banana Ripeness Evaluation Expert System app uh, is built and able to help consumer to identify the ripeness of banana. Uh, this is mainly useful for those who have, are uh, color blindness. Breeze successfully identified the ripeness of uh, banana, able to distinguish if the image capture is not banana. Okay. You see example here, um, banana found and it is matured, right? Banana found, it is unripe. Okay. And if you see here, no banana found. So I, uh, it suggests also what is, and no banana found, it suggests also uh, what are the image. So as a conclusion, um, we have successfully uh, developed the um, classification model and the mobile apps. By combining a multiple aspect of image processing and data mining, we managed to obtain a classification rule of banana ripeness as 96.15% accurate. And then the rule that we generated here are successfully embedded or implemented into a mobile application suit for iOS and Android user. The Google mobile, the Google Cloud Platform tool and services had made it possible for us to build a serverless architecture for processing and storing image. With more data sample, it could be also perform predictive analysis to predict the fruit shelf life. To share as well our current research which is related to agriculture um, first is uh, we have tried also tree detection and counting for oil palm plantation 
where we utilize the deep learning CNN and sliding window techniques to detect and count the uh, number of three and from the current result we managed to get more than 90% accurate but it also have limitation uh, because this is still ongoing research uh, where when the complexity of the images or a crowded uh, tree uh, the accuracy uh, slightly low um, the imaging that we can use uh, for this one is uh, drawn image, photography, high spectral image, remote sensing image. This is among the images that have been utilized for my research. And then uh, for monitoring, this is uh, things that we also can do uh, using the deep learning CNN uh, in combination with this imaging here. Uh, if we add also localization technology, we can use all this for crop health monitoring. Okay, we're not just counting detect. We can see which area that would need more attention uh, for fertilization or crop management. That's it for me. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, so feel free to ask any question. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Dr. Kuryati, um, for that mobile application for banana ripeness evaluation. Uh, I open the floor to questions. We have one from Prof. Yasmin. Uh, it's in the chat box. Okay, her question is, for your hyperspectral imaging, can you pick up banana trees in a mixed wild population? Uh, sorry, uh, let me check. Uh, Hyperspectral imaging. Okay. okay. Actually, so far we haven't have any tools for us to take this imaging. But if uh, someone can provide us with the hyperspectral imaging, and what you want, we need is to pick out uh, banana trees. To do, you mean to detect, right? The banana trees which mix with wild population. Yes, we can. Uh, because I know the hyperspectral spectral imaging is uh, very uh, HD, high definition, and with a robust uh, deep learning or artificial intelligence method, we can um, uh, count or detect the banana trees. Is it, is it answering your question? Mixed wild population. Yes, uh, yeah, because I was thinking of if we are trying to hunt for banana in the jungle, it'll be easier. Ah, if we can just find okay. Because we have also some work uh, where we want to actually detect sago, sago tree. Uh, the wild the sago, right? Yes. Yeah. The so, same as wild banana. So Ardiana, I don't know what the Ardiana is here. The most Ardiana. important is if we have enough um, samples. Data. Mm, samples. Data. We have to take okay. lots of pictures of banana from the top, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Thank you. So, uh, okay, uh, I have a question, uh, Dr. Kuryati. Um, uh, do you plan? Uh, is there? Uh, do you plan to add uh, the deep learning algorithm into your mobile? Pardon? Uh, do you plan to uh, to um, embed uh, deep learning algorithm into oh, your yes. mobile? Uh, so because uh, yes, it's image processing, you can. Ah, yeah, ni image processing je. Yeah, ni we just use a rule based classifier je because the problem is quite simple. And then uh, after uh, we try and then we can get good result as you see ninety above. Uh, but uh, for certain situation where the images is more complex, yeah, uh, we might have to try on deep learning mm -hmm. because uh, provided that we have enough data. Yeah, inshallah, we can have a very good detection rate. Yeah, because I'm working with um, uh, AI scientists on deep learning, mm -hmm. on the image processing using GAN, uh, GAN NVIDIA. So basically, it's more towards the creative 
creative arts lah. Basically, uh, looking at how AI processes uh, images and how it actually learn after each iteration and come out their own with their own painting. So, uh, so that's something that I thought can be uh, applied to your work also since it's also on image punya. Yes, true. Thing. Hmm. That is uh, what we do for the oil palm. We use uh, deep learning. Um, it just that the infrastructure that we need to think, right? Uh, uh, for us to store the um, classifier, um, classification model later on and have to check also the processing time uh, when we utilize this kind of system. Thank you, Dr. Kuryati. We have one more minute and I think we have time for one more question from Sebar UM. Uh, hi, Dr. Kuryati. I might have missed it. Is the color detection limited to green-yellow spectrum only? Uh, no, I think it's uh, all the range, actually. Uh, and it is actually, uh, we utilize the one in Google, uh, the color attributes. So, it will check also uh, other color uh, attribute uh, and from the classification rule. That's why we run the classification rule uh, so that uh, uh, the if else condition, the probability for the green, the yellow, uh, green only, uh, uh, very, I mean, dark yellow and so on is uh, considered as well. Right, that's marvelous. Uh, 20 minutes. Thank you, Dr. Kuryati, for your presentation. It's very interesting to see how uh, how different part of this the discipline can also be integrated into banana research. Okay, and it's very also interesting to see uh, the uh, uh, how mobile apps can help certain limitation from uh, from people. From uh from the uh, visuals visual limitation, all right. Uh, so if you're interested with Dr. Kuriati's uh, work, you can email her. The email is in the abstract, and to discuss further, perhaps.